Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Isidro Reyna. This week on Station, Expedition 53 crew members prepared for three spacewalks set to take place in October. Commander Randy Bresnik will lead all three spacewalks, joined on October 5th and 10th by Flight Engineer Mark Vandehei. Joe Acaba will join Bresnik on October the 18th. During the first spacewalk, the crew will replace one of two latching end effectors on the station's robotic arm, Canadarm2. The second and third spacewalks will be devoted to lubricating the newly installed end effector, the snare at the end of the robotic arm used to grapple vehicles and payloads, and replacing cameras on the left side of the station's truss and the right side of the station's U.S. Destiny Laboratory. Visit NASA Television and NASA.gov at 1 p.m. Central on October 2nd to view a briefing of the work to be performed. This week, Vice President Mike Pence visited the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama and called astronauts Bresnik, Vandehei and Acaba aboard the station. How do you believe your work on the International Space Station day in and day out advances American leadership in space? We just sent home a SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle that uh, carried science that we've been working on for a month up here. One of them was growing uh, lung tissue. Lung tissue that's going to allow them to ideally figure out cures for lung cancer. Groundbreaking research like that up here on the International Space Station is what keeps American leadership in space. Pence also met with ground controllers at Marshall that provide around-the-clock support of the crew's scientific activities on the orbiting laboratory, paving the way for future deep space exploration missions. And Randy Bresnik got to take some time out of his busy schedule to speak with students at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. This week's question came from Giselle. She wants to know what weather looks like from space. Weather looks really neat. Um, we get to see the clouds, and so the neat thing about clouds is they're no two the same. They're different everywhere. And you could see where but you'd have a line of clouds and then some puffies and then some streaks and things like that. We have unfortunately seen way too many hurricanes from up here the past couple weeks. But to see the hurricane swirls and the way the clouds jet out from the edges and then look down literally into the eye of the hurricane, we've seen straight down to the blue of the ocean inside the middle of of Irma and uh, Jose. The sad part for us is just knowing what's going on on the ground underneath uh, the, those hurricanes. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.